All right, so this replay is for uh, Stick here. He sent it in. He's about goldish and 3v3s. Uh, was looking for some solid advice. There's a lot of times where uh, he looks at videos and he seems to think that the advice is not very good. Like a lot of like air dribbles and all these other things. Not a lot of focus on game sense. So we'll see what we can look at and see what we can help Mr. Stick here with. So right off the bat, we have the quadruple commit for kickoff. Um, I don't know. In gold, it's probably fine, but eventually we're going to want to adopt left goes first or do something where we communicate that only one person goes for kickoff. Even if one person goes for kickoff against the two, you should be good enough to, you know, not get dunked completely. So, whatever. That's fine. Honestly, a good rotation back. You're, you're in a good spot here to actually save a lot of things that might come. Um, so I don't have much critique there. You do a good job readjusting. Now we just sit. We be a little patient. Let our teammates go. Good. Let's get some boost pads. Uh, very patient. Which is good. I mean, it's, you're, you're going to be a really solid spot in defense. Quick chats are a solid alternative. 100%. Got to communicate somehow. All right. Good challenge. So you, as we are in gold, there's just a lot of chaos. There's a lot of moving parts. Um, so the best advice you can give a gold is to just play more and, you know, get used to how your car moves and just become faster and faster with that. A lot of chaos, it's hard to make sense of a lot of the time, right? So, like, when do you go? Like, when do you go? Probably now would be a good time to go. But now we have our friend Seabass or whatever flying off the ceiling. Like, what are we supposed to do? Like, there isn't an opportunity for you to go clearly, right? So, I think doing what you're doing and just sitting back is fine. Like, this is just chaos. This is terrible. All these rotations. But now we need to move forward, right? So... It's all great to sit in that, especially during all this chaos that we had over here. That's great. Because you don't need to... There's already two guys that are already committed for the ball that aren't really doing anything. So you don't need to go help them commit to the ball and not do anything, right? So you did a good job sitting back. But now as this ball crosses the center line, it's time to push forward as well. Uh, so we can be in the play. Um, so we need to get up there. We don't need to be goalie. But we need to get up there. Um, and you get there. There's a hair late. This ball may have been something to go for, but probably not. And at this point, it's probably better if we're going to push over and get this ball. I don't think we're actually going to get to the ball before it's way over here with how it's moving. So now it's like, okay, now we need to sit back again. You know, you missed your opportunity to push forward. Almost. Good touch. All right, now let's see what we can do. Totally fine. We're gold. We're still trying to learn how our car works. So now that we made a play, let's get out. Let's give little boost pads. Oof. So if we want a, just a slightly better rotation, right? We got to get moving up the middle of the field here, especially in gold. Let's just keep getting as much boost as possible. Go up the middle of the field here. Bad arrow. This is a bad arrow. But go up the middle of the field here. Get those little boost pads and then go back to net, basically, because you're not going to want to challenge this now with being behind the ball. But go get those little boost pads and be ready to save it. Um, all right, we're going to go. Ah, but let's not, let's be not be too hesitant, right? Um, let's not be too hesitant. If we're going to go for a ball, let's go for it. Like at this point, let's just go for it. We got a teammate in net. Let's just go. I don't think it's constructive as a goal to like go forward, then go backwards, and like just kind of sit here teeter totting back and forth. Yes, you're protecting the net, but like at some point we need to break out of this and try to go for the ball and try to get better, right? So let's let's go for the ball. Good. Let's get little boost pads while we're waiting, but let's keep flowing towards the play a little bit. 
right? We don't we, we want to get little boost pads, but we want to continuously be flowing in a way that we're going to be able to challenge the ball if necessary. Sitting back this this far, I mean, yeah, you're not going to get scored on necessarily, but you're also not building any, you know, abilities or being in the play at all. Just look how easily velocity or whatever you call pronounce that moves the ball up the field, right? So let's get up there. Go. Just go. It's a little too passive. It's great for defense, but like we also at some point we just need to go. Nice. It's okay to whiff. It's definitely okay to whiff. Go. Now let's how do we go back, right? In general, we don't want to, you know, blast the ball in front of our own net. Let's rotate around back post, right? What's up, kills? I saw you too, Nova. Welcome. Alright, we got a good flow. Put the ball field. They're going to be ball chasing. It's fine. They think they're doing something. They're not. Let them ball chase, but still keep going for it. Good hit. Ball hawk, stay in the middle field. Yeah, stay in the midfield. But let's not get crazy either. Like, great ball hawking position. You can even, I guess, at this rank, probably even get this boost if you want. But let's wait until this chaos has resolved a little bit before we fully commit to something, right? We don't know what's going to happen here. We don't know which way this ball is going to go, right? So let's just let the chaos kind of subside a little bit before we fully boost in and commit to something crazy. Because, I mean, it ends up not going in our favor. And then we just kind of hit the ball a little softer. Um, I would say the... The reason you hit this ball so soft, right? You actually had a pretty good angle. It's just that you, like, side flipped into it with how slow everything's going. You need a front flip into this. Or even just, I don't know, a little bit more power with the side flip. You kind of hit it badly. You're, like, moving your momentum away from the ball. You want to move your momentum into the ball. You know what I mean? Just get it going into it so that the ball can get more speed. That's kind of why that pop that shot was really weak right but that comes with just playing more playing more being being a free play run around do stuff like that that's all you gotta do awkward but that's gold gold's awkward average cameraman on youtube now nice okay the flip was not necessary. Your flips are also a little, like, they're not crisp, right? You, like, you have such a big delay with the jump and then flip. Jump and then flip. Like, it should be a fluid thing. Like, you should be double tapping and go, right? I think this game says it's decent. He just needs to play more for his mechanics. 100%. That's 100%. So, yeah, your mechanics are what's holding you back at this point, right? Your game sense is totally fine, especially for this rank, right? So there's not going to be a lot of stuff that I'm going to be able to say that's going to help you fix things drastically besides how to play better mechanically, right? Like, this is great. I mean, what what more do you want? You're not going to be able to... You can't really do nothing. Everyone's going for it. Sit back. Now let's move forward. Let's move forward now. We just had a teammate ro behind, ro rotate behind us. Move forward. I know he just went, but like if you would have went, maybe he would have stopped, right? Move forward. Try flipping into the ball, not side flipping away from the ball. That's better. Get the dunk. Nice. Okay. Are we about to score? Boom. Banger. You put your momentum into the ball. That was beautiful. Maybe we're lingering in that a little bit too long. I 100% agree. 100% agree. We need to get moving. We need to, you know... Be in the play somehow. Alright, what are we going to do here? Get bumped by our teammate. That's what we like to see. This is just... I don't think there's any constructive thing I could say here, right? Um, it's like... You know, there's a lots of crap going on. And that's just how your gameplays are going to be. Once we uh, start getting better mechanically or faster, a lot of that crap's going to go away. Because we'll be able to just clear the ball and there won't be a time where it's in front of our net. Yeah. Yeah. 
When your first mate, you should be challenging as soon as possible. 100% agree. 100% agree. I think that's what we're lacking. We're lacking a little urgency. We're lacking a little movement. Like, go! No one else is going for this ball. Let's be aggressive. Let's go. Let's go get it. Let's go get it. Everyone else is ball chasing at this point. It's not like you've made any, like, crazy saves, right? Like, we look at saves. Yeah, you have two. But, like, I say you didn't make any crazy saves. You have two. Freaking A. But, yes. Let's go. Let's move forward. Because if we start getting into these plays more, that's when we're going to start getting better. All right. Good. Rotate around. And now let's get going. Let's go for this ball. All right. Now we wait. Yep. Take control. Good. All right. Now let's rotate around. A bit of a whiff. All right. Good. Now, when do we go? When do we go? Right now, we should be going. We should be up at the midfield right now. Right. The ball is way deep in the orange side. We should be in the midfield. Yep. Okay. Unfortunate. We'll go to overtime. There it works. I got, I got worse by. You're good. You're good, camera man. Okay. So, I'm going to start wrapping up my, my thoughts on this. Because there's not a lot, game sense wise, I can teach you. Because I think the building block that you need more right now is mechanics. You need to be a lot faster. You need to be able to hit the ball harder and do things like that. I don't think any, I don't think anything that you do, like game sense wise, is gonna help you. Just playing very passive, staying in net for too long. A hundred percent agree, Nova. It's that's basically it. You're just sitting in net too long, and you're not actually pushing forward and going for it. I know defense is important, but when you're in gold, like you should be building experience to like understand how your car works, understand how, ball control and stuff like that more. When you sit in net, you're like you don't get those opportunities to like go and try something and fail or try something and have it succeed like you don't you don't miss out on all those opportunities right so you got to be able to push out and try to make plays and just understand your car and i'd say free play just a ton of free play just be in free play all day go play ranked and just don't care about what happens just go try to get to the ball and once we get better and faster and we start seeing ourselves hitting the ball harder, having better mechanics and stuff like that, then maybe we can take a step back and think about uh, uh, game sense. But by then, you'll probably be in plat. So, yeah. Thank you, Stick, for sending in the replay. And I really appreciate that.